Yo, what's up everybody, it's Easy, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of cybersecurity, or more specifically, the tools that can turn that world upside down. Did you know that in 2025, hackers don't even need to know how to code to break into your devices? Yeah, you heard that right. We're about to expose the top 10 most dangerous hacking tools out there. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you do not want to miss this. Let's get into it. First up, we're kicking things off with Cobalt Strike. Now imagine a hacker's control room, right? Dimly lit, screens everywhere, lines of code scrolling like something out of the matrix. This tool is all about stealth. It lets hackers create these hidden backdoors into systems, slipping past your defenses like a digital ninja. You've probably heard about the massive ransomware attacks hitting businesses and even governments, right? Yeah, Cobalt Strike is often the weapon of choice in those situations. Why? Because it gives hackers complete control over infected devices, all while flying under the radar. It's sophisticated, it's dangerous, and it's a stark reminder that cybersecurity is serious business. Next up is Metasploit Framework, and if Cobalt Strike is the hacker's command center, then Metasploit is like their trusty Swiss army knife. Versatile, powerful, and capable of some serious damage. This tool is all about finding and exploiting vulnerabilities. But here's the kicker. Metasploit is open source, meaning it's freely available to anyone in the wrong hands. Well, let's just say it can be a recipe for disaster. We're talking about the ability to generate custom malware, take full control of devices, and wreak havoc on entire networks. Okay folks, time to get real serious for a minute, because with our next entry, things are about to get really creepy. We're talking about Pegasus spyware, and this is the stuff of nightmares. This spyware can silently infect your phone without you ever knowing. We're talking zero-click attacks, no warning signs, nothing. And once it's in, it's game over. Hackers can read your messages, listen to your calls, even activate your camera and microphone, all without you ever knowing. It's a stark reminder that in the digital age, privacy is a precious and increasingly fragile thing. Chapter 4, Wireshark, the network traffic analyzer turned weapon. Now our next tool might seem a little less flashy than Pegasus but don't let that fool you. Think of Wireshark as a giant set of digital binoculars that let you see all the data flowing through a network. It's like being able to listen in on every conversation happening in a crowded room. We're talking passwords, cookies, private messages, financial data, you name it, Wireshark can potentially sniff it out. So while Wireshark itself isn't inherently evil, it's a powerful reminder that even seemingly harmless tools can be used for malicious purposes. Chapter 5. Mimikatz, the Password Thief. Alright, let's talk about passwords for a second. You know those complex strings of letters, numbers, and symbols you're supposed to create and remember for every single online account? Yeah, those things are supposed to protect you, right? Well, not if Mimikatz has anything to say about it. This tool is like a skeleton key for your digital life. It's designed to steal passwords directly from a device's memory, and it's terrifyingly effective. Imagine a hacker getting into your network, maybe through a phishing attack, or by exploiting a vulnerability. They want access to everything. It lets them grab those passwords that are stored in plain text in your computer's RAM, giving them the keys to the kingdom. Chapter 6 Bloodhound, Mapping the Digital Kingdom. So, we've seen tools that can steal passwords, spy on your activity, and even take control of your devices. But what about a tool that shows hackers exactly how to take over an entire network? Enter Bloodhound. This isn't just about breaking in, it's about understanding the digital terrain and planning a hostile takeover. Bloodhound is all about mapping relationships. It's like creating a blueprint of a company's IT infrastructure, highlighting all the weak points and vulnerabilities. It's like giving a burglar the floor plans to a bank vault and highlighting the security system's blind spots. All right, let's talk about two-factor authentication for a second. You know, that extra layer of security where you get a code sent to your phone to confirm it's really you logging in. It's supposed to be the gold standard for online security, right? Well, Evil Jinx 2 is here to burst that bubble. This tool is a master of deception. It creates fake login pages that look identical to the real deal. Your bank, your email provider, your favorite social media platform. But here's the really scary part. It can even bypass two-factor authentication. It's a stark reminder that in the world of cybersecurity, there's no such thing as 100% security. Let's talk about stealth. Imagine a hacker getting into your system, not by downloading a file or installing malware, but by leaving behind a tiny invisible footprint that's almost impossible to detect. That's the power of Empire, a remote access tool that operates entirely in memory. Most malware needs to write files to your hard drive, leaving behind clues that security software can pick up. 
Empire, on the other hand, is like a ghost in the machine. Remember Cobalt Strike, the hacker's command center we talked about earlier? Well, meet Sliver Framework, the new kid on the block that's giving Cobalt Strike a run for its money. This open source tool is quickly gaining popularity in the cybersecurity world and for good reason. Sliver is designed for stealth, flexibility, and ease of use. It allows hackers to create custom malware, establish command and control channels, and remotely access compromised systems with ease. This makes it a moving target, a constantly evolving threat that's difficult to pin down, and even harder to defend against. Finally, we're wrapping things up with a tool that's a staple in the hacker's toolkit, Nmap, or Network Mapper. Now, on its own, Nmap is a powerful but relatively benign tool used for network scanning and security auditing. But when you combine it with NSE Scripts, Nmap Scripting Engine, things start to get interesting. NSE Scripts are like little programs that extend Nmap's functionality, allowing hackers to automate tasks, probe for vulnerabilities, and even launch attacks. There are tons of online resources, tutorials, and pre-written scripts available, making it a popular choice for both ethical hackers and cybercriminals alike. And there you have it, the top 10 hacking tools of 2025 that should be on everyone's radar. From stealthy spyware to password stealers and network mappers, these tools represent a real and present danger in our increasingly interconnected world. But remember, like any tool, they can be used for good or evil. If you want to learn more about cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and how to protect yourself from these threats, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Stay safe, stay informed, and stay ahead of the hackers.